Unfortunately for him, this past Sunday at Sacrifice, he was on the losing end. Uh, him and Magnus are losing their, their World Tag Team titles. Because Aaron and Daniel. So, I don't know if I'm Kurt Angle right now, if I want to deal with Samoa Joe, but you have to. Massive opportunity here to go on to fight night to get an opportunity possibly at the World title. Well, you're right, because one week from tonight, it's the return of Gut Check. And it is open fight night. Challenge issued, must be accepted. And in addition, we already know, Hulk Hogan told us earlier that the World Heavyweight title is going to be the championship that's going to be defended. Hulk Hogan's going to pick one of four men to face Bobby Roode for that title one week from tonight. We've already qualified three. Let's find out who number four is going to be. Kurt Angle smart. He realized that, that, that nasty flurry right there by Joe. So what Kurt does, he gets out of the ring and stops Joe's early momentum. Kurt's figuring, hey, I'm going to dictate the pace here. It's a cautious Kurt Angle that re-enters the ring to square off and face the Samoan submission machine. Joe is going to try and get some of the strikes in here against oh, Kurt. Double leg. Wow. Quick. He drop steps into that double leg. Nobody quicker, nobody faster, is there? Round the cup. No, there's not. It's just his technique is it's just perfect. That's what it is with Kurt. His pure wrestling technique is perfect. And that's how Joe got caught by that double leg before he could do anything. Usually you try to sprawl if someone goes for a single or double leg. No chance for Joe to do that, but now Joe running right through Kurt. Yeah, you would think Joe would try to capitalize on, on the edge that he has here, the advantage, which is size, which is power, which is weight, as he goes airborne and drops the knee right across the chest. But I gotta say, from a quickness standpoint, it might be these two men might be closer in that regard than, than some might think just by looking at them. Sure. Joe is deceivingly quick. And also possesses tremendous quality of basket. Look at that. Yeah, how about the disrespect of the face wash in the corner for the Olympic gold medalist? Again, this is just a humongous opportunity to go on to open fight night next week Whoa! for this. Beautiful suplex right there over the head, belly to belly, by angle. Those quick hips, explosive, low popping hips. Great job by Kirk. Boy, and an accomplishment, too, to get to win. What's the story here? Bobby Roode, our world heavyweight champion, coming out to watch. We gotta take a break. More of Samoa Joe and over here. Angle. Who's heading over here? This? I don't know. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Impact Wrestling, our main event, Samoa Joe Kurt Angle. And we have been joined at the broadcast table by the world heavyweight champion Bobby Roode. And Bobby, you're uh, well, your celebration of domination that you proposed earlier tonight, let's just say Hulk Hogan had other thoughts, eh? Yeah, my celebration of domination. Seven days from now, I can become the longest reigning world heavyweight champion in the history of this company. And Hulk Hogan is taking that opportunity away from me. Next week, I have to come out here and I have to defend my title against one of four men. Well, you know, champ, you know right now, Bully Ray has advanced. AJ Styles has, has advanced, and so has Jeff Hardy. And now, obviously, we're trying to see who's going to advance here between these two men. You have a preference. I mean, that's the obvious question. Who would you like to face? Look at Taz, I have beaten everybody there is to beat in this company. I'm not afraid of anybody. There's nothing and no one that's going to stop me from becoming the longest reigning world champion in this company's history. Nobody. I can tell you, whoever it is that you're going to face, you've had a, a long history with all of these individuals, from AJ Styles to Bully Ray to Jeff Hardy or even one of these two, whoever it's going to be, that wins this matchup between Samoa Joe and, and Kurt Angle. I've beaten Jeff Hardy. I've beaten AJ Styles. I've beaten Bully Ray. All right? I'm not afraid of anyone. I will, at the end of the day, walk out with my World Heavyweight Championship, and I will go down in history as the longest reigning champion ever. Well, there's no, there's no, I don't think anybody here, uh, I don't think anybody in the world can uh, can talk neg negatively about your ability as a competitor and as a champion. There's no doubt about that, I, you know. I mean, but I gotta say, I mean, this this is tough. I mean, people are coming at you left and right. Since you're the world champ, you know you're a mock man, I and mean, that's gotta be tough to deal with. 
That's part of the that's part of the program. When you're the world champion, everybody wants Kona for you. Everybody wants to be the world heavyweight champion. I've wanted to be the world heavyweight champion for 13 years, and I am. Watch this pin here by Joe, and no, just a two count. Well, well think about the possibilities. What if Hulk Hogan picks the phenomenal AJ Styles to challenge that title belt as we see the snap slam and the pin, and no, no.